So, I got this uh, 2003 GMC Sierra, and I just had a mouse in the in the uh, heater box. So, the heater box dumps in right here, where there's a hole for the fresh air intake. So they got into the cowl there, and then they got down into the hole where the uh, the fresh air intake is. Um, so what I did was I took some of this, um, I don't know, I think it's quarter inch, just uh, wire mesh I got from Tractor Supply. And the way they get in is right here, there's a drain here and there's one on the other side. So what I did was I took a piece about this, I mean, it's probably uh, four by six, five by six, uh, something like that. Anyway, so it, it slips, slips right behind here between um, this piece of rubber or plastic, whatever that is, and uh, the fender here. So I'll probably put like a self dat or screw or something in here just, just to hold it from moving. But it, it's in there pretty good. So what I did was I, I tucked it back there and then down in here I just kind of bent it around. I just bent it by hand around this here and I kind of just made some little trim marks in there where, where the uh, where the corners and stuff were so I, I just I bent, so I bent it around I made a little trim mark like there and then like here where I was gonna where the corners were and then I just bent it into a box so I folded the sides in and then I folded the bottom up and then um, and then the edges up so then I, I kind of I slipped it in there and then I stuck it in. So I mean, right now this comes, this comes into the box probably about here, so it holds itself in. So now I got a screen on the end, so the mice can't get in there, and it's held in place by this, and then it's also tucked in the box as well. So I'm gonna make another one for the other side. Um, part of the reason I can't just block that off totally is because that's where the water drains. So I mean, you could see a little better over here. This is what it looks like. So I mean, you could see that. So that's that's the box where they're just they're just getting in, and then they're going up into the cowl there. So anyway, so like like I said, I can't block that off totally because water comes out of there, and then in the winter when you get ice and stuff, it'll melt and freeze up and then dam up. So this I mean this mesh I'm hoping doesn't freeze up in uh cause like an ice dam but anyway it's something to try I guess it's better than having mice in there because I really do not like mice in, in the vehicles so I'm gonna bend this up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then uh, this side's a little different because it's not tied up against this so I'll have to do something a little different over here but, anyway so this is what I got Basically, I, I cut it in along here, and then I cut it in along there. I did the same thing on that side. I folded these sides in, and then the bottom up, and then I folded the sections that hung over the edge up against the bottom. So now, cut it in, like this. And just, That might be a little wide. I'm gonna have to trim it up in a little bit more. But anyway, so you just trim it to fit and then stuff it in there. So I'd stick it into the, the hole there first and then we'll tack it up top here somehow. All right, so here's this side. It's not as pretty as the other side, but you can see what I mean. So I stuck that pretty much cage in there. And kind of trim this around. I mean, I don't think they're gonna get in there. This side hill had uh, uh, some module here on the firewall, so I just wrapped it around and hooked it on that. And this uh, bolt sticking in there, so they had to hold it. Um, I don't think they're coming out. I mean, I had to kind of stuff it in there. It wasn't wasn't easy getting it in, but anyway. So that's how I did that, and hopefully there aren't any mice in there that need to come out, but. So hopefully, 
that's the care that takes care of my mouse issue so hopefully this can help somebody and I thank you for watching so on this side this little well, plastic tab here cover whatever it is it's actually removable if you wanted to you push this button in here and that slides right out or slides into the hood hinge here or whatever it does anyway so this this piece sticks out so I just I, I cut a little bit extra and then I just wrap it around so it, it, it just kind of it, it goes around this piece of plastic here so it kind of holds it tight up against it because I don't want the the uh, the hood here to catch it and pull it out um, that's what I did on this side